Yeah! Woo! All right! What is up? Yeah! Woo! All right! So, uh, this is exciting. I became a dirty old man this year. Anybody else? Did that happen? This guy knows what I'm talking about. Sweet red wine. Fucking should have a monocle and hunting dogs. Testicles hanging out. You know what's going on. It happens quick. You, you don't even expect it. One day you're a normal dude and all of a sudden you're watching women's tennis and you make this noise. Uh, what the fuck was that? That's how quick it happens. This, let me back up. Let me back up for a second. I, I learned this this year. I can't talk to women anymore. Uh, beautiful women. I, I've lost the ability. I, I had a beautiful woman compliment me at brunch, a waitress. She just said, oh my God, you have beautiful eyes. And I was like, oh, do you also like TV? What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> what is happening to me? The reason is, I've learned this, because I'm in a long-term relationship, and I have been for a long time, so I've lost the ability to talk to pretty women. And here's a fact, when you're in a long-term relationship, when you're sleeping, your partner whispers in your ear, uh, she says things like, you're a big piece of shit, no one else would fuck you. Mm Mm-hmm, yes, and it ruins your self-esteem. It's brilliant. It gets worse the older you get, the longer, we, every woman in here has been hit on by like a 65-year-old guy who's been married for 40 years and he's walked up and like, here's a quarter, go buy a rainbow. She's like, is he having a stroke? No, he's hitting on you. (laughs) So here's the exact moment I became a dirty old man. I was in the Apple store because I hadn't had my weekly dose of condescension from a bearded guy. And uh, I got it. Immediately he's like, "Uh, well, what'd you do to your computer? I'm like, oh, I've been pouring milk on the keyboard. Isn't that how you turn it on? At which point, he sent me to a shame corner to reinstall software. And in walks this beautiful, sexy woman in cutoff shorts. She walks in, so sexy, cutoff shorts. On ladies, cutoff shorts. Because cutoff shorts project the notion that, oh, yes, my vaginal intensity is so powerful, it blew my pants legs off. No mere trousers can contain my lady flower. A man in cutoff shorts doesn't do that so much. It's like, oh, they're trying to get out. It's gross. A guy, I saw a guy in cutoff shorts rollerblading. Rollerblading, and you know he thought, I'm so cool. That's what everyone thinks. No, everyone thinks you have a DUI, asshole. That's why you're on rollerblades. So anyway, the pretty girl walks in, she sits on a stool, and her bum makes a heart, like a perfect heart when she sits down. Guys know what I'm talking Ladies, that's the equivalent of when you see a guy who's got this muscle right here. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, whores. Look at you, objectifying men. You should be ashamed of yourselves. No, women see that muscle. They're like, oh my God, am I watching True Blood right now? They get so excited and squirrely. I don't know how you get, do you do this? Is this how you get that muscle? Is that it? Is that how you get it? Unless you get it from smoking weed and eating Oreos. I ain't getting it. So her bum makes a heart. And this is the moment I became a dirty old man. This is how quickly I clocked the bum heart, exactly what I said, and exactly how I said it. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Yeah. That flipped out of my talk hole. And I was close. She heard me. She looked over to see... She didn't expect, like, a salty hobbit who'd seen too much. She expected, like, a religious pirate or something, just praying, like, Jesus Christ, the Apple Store's cool. And the worst part is I said it and I looked over, there's a 58-year-old guy next to me going, yeah! Like, no, we're not a thing. The older you get, the wiser you're supposed to be, which is crazy because I'm still an idiot. I'm, I'm a dummy and I'm a parent. I'm not smarter for being a parent. I'm an idiot. I don't know how children work and I have one. This is the most fucked up thing that happened to me. My three-year-old son came in, me and my wife were eating breakfast and He's wearing a shirt, shoes, and nothing else. And he's just flicking himself. Like he's jamming, he's playing like the Seinfeld theme. Right? And we ignore him. We ignore him like he's a weirdo on a bus. That's what we did. We're just like, don't make eye contact, sweetheart. And he'll move on to another nice couple. 
and he's just railing on it. <laughs> he says this verbatim, hey, my pee-pee's getting bigger. <laughs> look at it. And we chose not to look at it, which made him furious. So he started yelling at us. He's like, hey, look at it. Look at it. Like he started turning into Heath Ledger from Dark Knight. He's like, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> and eventually we had to look at it because you have to look at your children. That's a parenting fact. Occasionally you need to look to make sure they're not on fire. And we looked and it was like quivering, like a witch's toe. It looked like a dick arrow had just been shot in him. Like dig it, dig it, dig it. There's a note wrapped around it. Like the king has summoned us to joust. It was fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, he was full on Woody. And apparently this happens all the time. All the time. I've confirmed it. But at that time, I had no idea what caused it. Because you can't Google toddler boner without somebody kicking your door and like, that's the guy, get him. No, 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 sweetheart, flick your dick for the nice man and show him what we were talking about earlier. Okay, thanks so much, yuck yucks. It's always a pleasure. Ta -ba 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 -ba.